This is everything I have to tell you about love. Nothing. This is everything I've learned about marriage. Nothing. Only that the world out there is complicated, and there are beasts in the night, and delight in pain. And the only thing that makes it okay sometimes is to reach out a hand in the darkness, and find another hand to squeeze, and to not be alone. It's not the kisses, or never just the kisses. It's what they mean. Somebody's got your back. Somebody knows your worst self and somehow doesn't want to rescue you or send for the army to rescue them. It's not two broken halves becoming one. It's a light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home because home is wherever you both are together. So this is everything I have to tell you about love and marriage. Nothing. Like a book without pages or a forest without trees. Because there are things you cannot know before you experience them. Because no study can prepare you for the joys or the trials. Because nobody else's love, nobody else's marriage, is like yours. And it's a road you can only learn by walking it. A dance you cannot be taught. A song that did not exist before you began together to sing. And because in the darkness, you will reach out a hand not knowing for certain if someone else is even there. And your hands will meet, and then neither of you will ever need to be alone again. When we first met, I was swept away with the drains of those fairy tales and rainbows, how life would finally be perfect because I finally met the one. I remember looking at you, the fine specimen you are, and exclaiming, I'm going to make a baby with that. <laughs> You're the most loving, caring, funny, and tenacious human being that I have ever met in my life. I spent my entire life thinking I'm not enough, that I will never be enough, and that I'm just a broken person. But you've never given up on me. You've always been there, driving me to what I think is my limit, and showing me that I'm stronger than I ever thought I possibly could be. You have made the commitment of giving Cohen and by default, me, <laughs> the very best life that you were able to give. Because of you, I finally understand what family really means. And I am worthwhile, I am whole, I am strong, and I am enough. You believe so much in your vision, and you bring to the table so much energy that I no longer have any choice but to get off my lazy ass <laughs> and make shit happen right along next time. <laughs> And I look so forward to embarking on the rest of this wonderful adventure called life with you and Cohen by my side. And most importantly, I promise to keep embarrassing you by dancing shamelessly down the aisles of the grocery store because I know you secretly love it. You may conclude and seal this marriage with a kiss. For anyone who knows Dante, you know that a COVID wedding is the polar opposite of the type of event that fits his personality. Whether you are a distant relative, a close friend, who hasn't seen Dante in years, or perhaps, let's just say, a random security guard outside of a wedding venue that Dante met earlier that night, you know that my brother, when you have his attention, he pours all of himself into that moment informs lasting and memorable relationships with every single person he comes into contact with. There's something really special about Crystal. The friendship we have is one of a kind and I wouldn't be able to find it with anyone else. Crystal taught me a lot of things. She taught me that caprese salad is always appropriate, <laughs> that we can literally live off of guac and taco dip, <laughs> and that we don't need no man. <laughs> Crystal thought she didn't need a man, and then she saw Dante. <laughs> he was tall and handsome, and she couldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> Even though uh, we've considered Crystal part of our family for quite some time now, We'd like to take this opportunity to formally and officially welcome you to our family. 
Dante, Crystal, may 2020 and the rest of your lives continue to bestow upon you many blessings and the continued happiness that you both deserve. I love you both with all of my heart. Crystal and I grew very close when we lived together. We learned that we were both equally as grumpy, especially in the morning. So instead of saying good morning, we would just kind of grunt at each other when we passed in the hallway. <laughs> we were our own little dysfunctional family. Uh, we hosted parties and holiday dinners, and her family welcomed me as if I was one of their own. And I'm so grateful, Levon and Phil. Bro, I'm so proud of you <laughs> for betting on yourself and taking the steps to get into the career that you were destined to be in. For anyone here tonight from Tom Water Fire, and I know there are a few of you in the crowd, thank you from the bottom of my heart for recognizing the potential in Dante and pouring your faith and your knowledge into him over this past year. I promise you that Dante will pay off the faith that you have placed in him and add value to your department and the community for decades to come. Dawn and I would like to offer some advice that has worked well for us <laughs> over 30 plus years. Love one another, honor each other, and negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I'd like to propose a toast to Dante, Crystal, and Cohn, a long life of happiness together. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. 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 Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me Staring with that awkward smile From the other side of Thompson Street Felt love for a little while Cause you looked beautiful In the sunset glow In that sunset glow You looked more beautiful Than anyone I know Than anyone I know This day I don't know how I think about it constantly I promise I won't let you down but When I asked you told me yes To be in mine forevermore All I can offer is my best Through the good and bad, through rich and Dress on with that white dress on. You look more beautiful than anyone I've known, than anyone I've Dress on with that white dress on.